What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Laura's Cafe. I'm Brandon, Laura's husband. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make some really good beer brats um, with grilled peppers and onions. These are actually really good bratwurst. It's a good recipe um, that I've learned, and I just figured I would share it with y'all. Um, so to get started, you want to go to the grocery store and you're going to pick up um, some original beer bratwurst, of course. Um, in this recipe, I'm going to use two packets. Um, these are just the original Johnsonville bratwurst. They're not the beer brats. They're not cheddar brats. They're just regular uh, original bratwursts. Okay, we're going to turn them into beer brats with some Guinness Extra Stout beer. Um, you can use any kind of beer that you want to use, but I prefer the Guinness Extra Stout. I think it has the right flavor when it comes to beer for bratwurst. Um, not only that, but it's German, so it it goes with the recipe as well. And because it's an Extra Stout beer, it's, it's pretty strong, and it makes for the best flavor uh, when you cook the bratwurst in it, in my opinion. Um... But yeah, this is a really good recipe. You're gonna wanna pick up yourself a, uh, a whole onion. Get yourself one whole onion. Um, there's not that good of a selection of bread in the stores around here. Um, so I picked up some ballpark brat buns. Um, they're pretty much designed for bratwurst. Um, there's another type of bread that you like to use with bratwurst. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, um, but I find that this is this bread actually works pretty well for the bratwurst. So um, you're going to want to pick up two packs of this. I only got one pack here because I needed some room on the table here. Um, you're going to also want to pick up yourself some bell peppers. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grilling these bell peppers. And then we're also going to be throwing them into the beer with the bratwurst and the onion. Um... These actually come out really good after you grill them and you throw them into the beer. It adds to the flavor and it's really delicious. Um, so those are going to be your ingredients that you're going to want to pick up from the grocery store. And we're going to go ahead and get started with grilling the bratwurst. We're going to grill them first and then we're going to throw them in the beer, onion, and pepper mix. And so I'll see you at the grill. Okay, so after you've warmed up the grill and washed your hands, you're going to want to set the grill to about medium. So we're going to put it on medium, and then we're going to take our brats, and we're going to put them in indirect heat. I like to put them on the top rack, or maybe on the left side of the grill, but we got a top rack. So I'm going to put them on the top rack here, and... It's going to be indirect heat and what this is going to do is this is just going to kind of warm up the brats while you're working on the beer brew and while the brats are warming up you'll be able to cut your onions and everything and prepare all right so while the bratwursts are warming up on the grill you're going to want to get your uh, beer brew going on so you're going to want to grab your your onion and you're gonna wanna chop that up into pieces and throw it into a pot. Okay, so once you've chopped up your onion, you're gonna wanna put that in the pot, and then you're gonna wanna add the beer to your pot, okay? So we're gonna use the Guinness Extra Stout beer. Then you're gonna wanna pour the whole bottle of Guinness right in there with your onions, okay? That is some really good flavorful beer for cooking right there, especially for bratwurst, okay? And then you're gonna wanna set your oven to uh, kind of medium low, okay? You want it kind of low. You don't want to burn the mixture, you just want it to just heat up real quick. So go ahead and do that, let that warm up, and then you're going to get started on your bell peppers. 
All right, so for your bell pepper, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to julienne the bell pepper, okay? That means you're going to cut it into strips and you're going to remove all the seeds uh, from the bell peppers. And you don't want to make them tiny strips. You want to make them kind of long and chunky because you're going to be grilling these bell peppers. So let me go ahead and get these julienned and I'll be right back. So once you got your bell peppers julienned, you're going to want to throw them on the grill. And what you want to do is you want to char them up where they're a little bit black on each side and then take it off the grill. And I like to throw them in there with the bratwurst and the, kind, the smoke kind of merges together and it really makes it delicious. All right, I'll be right back after I finish organizing them on the grill. Okay, so once you've organized your grill and you got everything laid out, I went ahead and moved the bratwurst down to the bottom grill and I just lowered down the heat a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kinda let that sit there. Um, I'm gonna be grilling the bratwurst like normal, um, but I'm doing it kind of slow because I don't wanna rush it. Um, if you rush it too much, the juice shoots out of the bratwurst and there's flames everywhere. Um, if you're in a hurry and you want to cook up the meal really fast, then you can do it that way. Um, but just watch it because you don't want to burn anything. You just want to just grill it and you want to get it browned up a little bit. As you can see, one of my dogs is starting to grill it pretty good there. Um, basically, we just want to char the... Uh, bell peppers there and once everything is grilled we're going to start throwing some of it into the pot um, so I'll be back when everything's ready to go okay so it looks like the bratwurst is pretty much done on the grill here so we're just gonna go ahead and start plating those we'll get those on a plate um, that way we can get them transferred over to our pot of onions and the vegetables are still coming along they're browning up a little bit so we're going to give them a little bit more time um and i'll be right back i'm going to go ahead and finish plating these bratwursts all right so it looks like our uh beer brew is cooking up really nice um the onions are starting to soften up a bit and they're starting to look a little bit better here um, so now that we've taken we've taken the bratwurst off of the grill, look at those brats. That I just want to eat them right now, but uh, we still got some stuff to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these brats and we're gonna throw them in the beer mixture that that we did with the onions. Um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna infuse the brats with the flavor of the beer and the onions and pretty soon the peppers as well so we're just going to go ahead and throw those in there and get them nice and and soaked in the beer and onion mixture there <clears throat> okay so you just want to make sure they're kind of just all sitting under the under the surface of the beer there and get them covered really good um, <clears throat> then we're gonna do is just cover that and we're gonna turn up the heat we're gonna put it about medium okay we don't want to go too high because if you go too high you will cook off the 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 flavor of the beer and you don't want to do that you just want it to simmer a little bit so we're going to go ahead and let that do that, and pretty soon our bell peppers will be done. We'll be right back. All right, so it looks like our peppers are just about done here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting those onto the plate. <clears throat> go ahead and get these ready for their bath in the beer and onions. Their little bath. This is going to be so delicious. 
Okay, so now since we got the bell peppers all grilled up nicely, um, it does look like our beer mixture is boiling pretty good there. I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start adding our grilled uh, bell peppers into the mix. So basically these are all going to go inside of the broth there. And you're going to want to let that continue to simmer pretty good for probably another 10 to 15 minutes. You just want to soften up all the onions and make sure that the bell peppers um, get nice and soft in there as well. Okay, so we got the bell peppers put into the pot here with the beer and onions and the bratwursts. And you're going to want to put these in here and just kind of let them soak in with the beer and onions. Um, it actually comes out really good. The flavor just merges right into the bratwurst. And um, all I got to say is it's, it's extremely delicious. Um, for those of you following the recipe, um, you want to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat most close to medium heat you don't want to boil it too much you do want it to heat up but you don't want to burn off the flavor of the beer so we're going to go ahead and let that sit for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes and we'll be right back all right so it looks like it is pretty much done here so i'm going to go ahead and start plating this Oh, that looks delicious. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the bratwurst. Put that nice and pretty in the bun. Go ahead and grab some peppers. Throw those right on top of there. Ooh. This is going to be so delicious. Go ahead and reach in and grab a couple of onions. Throw those on top there. Ooh, this is going to be so good. I'm going to finish plating this and I will be right back. Okay, everyone. So there it is. Grilled bratwurst with grilled peppers, beer, and onions. Absolutely delicious. They are so juicy. You can taste the beer in them and the peppers and onions just make it even that much more. And if you want, you can put a little bit of uh, mustard on there. I like to put a little bit on mine. This is pretty good. Um, you could use Dijon mustard as well. I don't have any of that on me right now. But some Dijon's taste actually pretty good on bratwurst. In fact, I think that's actually part of the original recipe. Um, but I didn't have any, so... Oh well, but there it is. Delicious grilled bratwurst with peppers and onions sautéed in beer. Well, if you like this video and you want to see more videos, you can go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel or to our channel, Laura's Cafe. Uh, she's not here right now, so I'm doing all the videos for like wings and bratwurst and all the stuff for the grill pretty soon we'll have some videos with enchiladas and all kinds of deliciousness so come back to our channel we hope you like our video thanks for watching have a good one